ಶ್ರೀ ಸುಧಾಕರ್ ದ ಪ್ರೆಸಿಡೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೋಂಟಿಸ್ವರಿ ಅಟ್ ಇಲ್ಲಂದು ಇನ್ಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಹೆಡ್ ಮಾಸ್ಟರ್ ಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಬಿಜುಕೈ ಜೋಸೆಫ್ ಎ ಎಚ್ ಎಂ ಹರಿ ಸರ್ ಹೆಡ್ ಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಬಿಲ್ವ ಟೀಚರ್ಸ್ ಸ್ಪೆಷಲ್ ಇನ್ವೈಟೀಸ್ ಪ್ರೆಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮೀಡಿಯಾ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮೈ ಡಿಯರ್ ಲವಿಂಗ್ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ಐ ವಿಶ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಯು ಎ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ಸ್ ಡೇ when we celebrate the 14th november every year with a lot of joy and happiness we think about think about the efforts made by our first prime minister sri jawahar lal nehru people used to call him as chacha ji because of his love towards children every year November 14th we all celebrate his birthday as children's day so the reason behind celebrating nehru's birthday as children's day is that he had immense love to his children he had been loving the children without any boundaries and the reason is that he understood children basically are innocent children basically are innocent because of innocence he began to like the children and the children began to come to him and he became chacha nehru for the children now we all respect him as chacha ji so on this uh, on the occasion of his birthday we all are happy to remember him the present india is a great nation one of the leading nations in the world it was possible because of the long vision of our first prime minister he had an ambition he had a vision that each and every indian should become a self sufficient he or she should be happy to live in this world as a recognized uh, citizen so he has given a strong foundation for india so we have to love him respect him remember him every day so my dear loving children when we celebrate the children's day are you really innocent are you really innocent you are not following me nehru ji told that children are really innocent but are you really innocent no so i love you i like you because you tell the fact you are not that much innocent nowadays if you are really innocent you have to do two things first thing you have to love your parents a uh, second thing you have to respect your teachers when you do th- these two things you will become a great person in your life see my dear loving children respected parents you all have come together here the children parents are sending children to montessori group with a noble aim that montessori school will make the children as global citizens they will be speaking only in english they will be a great citizen wherever he is and he will be able to go beyond the boundaries world wide he can travel that is the dream of each and every parent when they send the children to montessori school so my dear children is it not responsible for you to love your parents are you really responsible to love your parents so how you love your parents dad mom i love you i love you dad mom i love you you say like this isn't it but this is not the real love this is not the real love the real love is that you have to obey them whatever they say when your dad says something my dear child you have to study well you have to get good marks 
you have to get good progress card you have to get real knowledge when you obey your parents you are loving them you understand me the real love is that you have to respect your you have to love your parents whatever they say because your dad mom they will be saying only to do hard work study well get good marks now at this time i tell you more than marks what we need what in montessori we need is real knowledge real knowledge if you get some marks on the progress card it is not real marks it is not your standard it is not your worth if you have real knowledge you will be able to survive any part of the world at any moment of time so your loving parents are thinking when they send the child to montessori school in any branch of montessori group he or she will be speaking only in english my dear loving children are you doing it now we have been imposing so many restrictions to speak you only in english because your parents have a dream my son my daughter should speak good english he should be able to face any challenges without any kind of complications so it will be possible only when you speak good english so your parents are having a real dream on you can you say your parents have no dream on you can you say your parents have no dream on you your parents have a dream what do they what do they think about you you have to become an auto driver why bullock cart driver no then what do they dream about you engineer doctor scientist something more than that something more than that so if you if they want to achieve their dream you have to cooperate with them if if the parents are really able to attain their dream that can be possible only through your hard work only through your hard work am i right whatever you need your loving parents are sending to you see today you have your parents you ask your parents dad mom today we have children's day celebration we have some dancers we want some costume this set this dress that dress did any parents say that i don't give you no all the parents agreed to give you whatever you asked isn't it it is the love they have towards you in return what they want is only your hard work only your sincerity only your dedication you have to do it my dear loving children can you do it it can be possible only when you are highly disciplined it can be possible only when you are highly disciplined how you will be getting discipline keep quiet shut your mouth don't talk don't look here and there is it discipline no then what is discipline obeying the rules and regulations of any place or any organization that is discipline when you go to a cinema theater what they say maintain queue maintain queue if you want to go to airport what they say maintain queue am i right if you want to go to tirupati for darshan what they say maintain queue this is discipline when you obey the rules and regulations that is discipline in the school there are some rules you have to come to school in time you have to do your homework you have to complete your record book whatever work is given the assignment what is given to you you have to complete it like that the teachers will tell you when you do it you are becoming a disciplined boy or a disciplined girl you understand me so discipline is just obeying the rules and regulations of any organization any institution when you are able to follow the rules and regulations of any organization any school or any institution you are becoming a highly disciplined boy or girl and it will help you in your future life wherever you go whatever stage you cross you will become high in your future life that can be possible only with the high dignity of discipline so in this school in montessori schools we impart education as well as discipline so my dear children you have to love your parents then whatever they say you have to obey 
whatever you are asking they are providing you follow me you are listening to me carefully okay very good very good so whatever you are asking your loving mother and father giving to you so at the very same time you have to do what they ask from you you have to study well get good marks and when when we say about marks more than marks i tell you my dear children you have to acquire real knowledge marks are not important real knowledge is important real knowledge in your life is very very important for your success this marks on the progress card is only a criteria your success depends on your knowledge your success in your life highly depends on your knowledge you can get knowledge from two sources one is your teachers the second is your textbooks you can acquire knowledge from the teachers from the textbooks so if you refer these two things you have to refer your teachers you have to refer your textbooks you can get knowledge so when you get real knowledge standard will come to you marks will come to you you don't try for marks you try for real knowledge you try for real knowledge in any class you are studying wherever you are studying class lkg or class 10 whichever class you are studying you try for real knowledge when you have real knowledge marks will come to you automatically because when you have the knowledge you are able to write all the question answers properly you will be able to get all the answers on the paper so that you can get good marks so to get marks you need knowledge to get the knowledge you have to obey the teachers you have to respect the teachers in the classroom whatever teachers are telling you have to follow then you will be getting a real knowledge when you get the real knowledge it will come in the form of marks then you can tell your parents your father and mother i have got very good marks see you a child can copy and get marks but this marks will not support your standards so copying us is not required it is not the method of getting knowledge you have to really acquire knowledge with the hard work as a student you have to do hard work whatever your parents are telling you have to obey carefully you will love your parents when you come to the classroom most important thing you have to respect your teachers 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 today is children's day i ask one simple question can you answer me 10th class students 9th class students can you are you available here yes yes, yes, yes. so can you ask uh, give me answer properly how many of you want become teachers 8th class 9th class students how many of you want become teachers teachers you please count number of hands only one or two only one or two around 2000 students are there in montessori school at illandu branch only two students are interested to become or three students are there now to become teachers remaining all they do not want to become teachers you want to become scientist engineer doctor something more than that even a minister or a prime minister or a president of india you want to become but you don't want to become a teacher isn't it so how is it possible when you are not obeying the teachers how can you become a, a great person without studying how can you become a great person in your future life did you ever think about it so teaching is a great task my dear children last teachers day i remember 5th september some of the students have gone as teachers some of the students maintained as teachers you understood how difficult to manage a class did you understand how difficult to manage a class you have seen practically when you have gone as a teacher on the occasion of teachers day self government day so my dear students you always respect your teachers teachers are the milestones for you they will give you proper guidance what you want to become what you want to become in your future life depends on the teacher a teacher gives you proper guidance if you obey the teacher you can be great in your future life if you simply run here and there without studying without acquiring knowledge and if you fail in the examination can you blame the teacher no you can blame yourself sir so all the parents here all the students here all the teachers here you all have to put combined efforts 
to become a great person in your life. So my dear loving children, I do not want to take much of your time because I know you are very much uh, waiting for the dance programs. Sir, we don't want your message and all. That we know you will be speaking so many things uh, about us only will speak. That will be useful for us also. Even then, more than that, we love, we like dances, songs, actions. Isn't it? Uh, music, you like it. Uh. I understand your psychology. So my dear children, on this fine day, this children's day, this your day, each one of you, those who are able to understand what I say, you have to take a clear oath. I will change myself today. I will become a true citizen. I will love my father and mother. I will respect my teachers. I will get in good knowledge. I will become a source of energy for the future nation. And I will reach up to the expectation of the dream of Pandit Nehwala Nehru, the first Prime Minister of India, that each and every child should become a great person in the future life. And once again I wish all of you a happy children's day. All the best. God bless you. Jai Hind.